And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Crystal shines before us. The very domain that Garland once took the princess long ago. Let's do this. Focus the light of our crystals, fire, earth, water, and wind upon the black crystal. The flow of time surges and space begins to warp. Just one step forward will travel us will travel back two thousand years. For this it's our destiny want not as warriors of light. But as warriors of time. Unlike the last two series, the last two times I tried, this was empty. It's not anymore. Nine hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine HP restored. Now this means have all the magic of the game. And even better, now that we have all the game's magic, we can do this much easier than the last two times. Instant full heal, instant revive, instant everything. This isn't really the final part for us. The point of no return. For you see, that comes when we actually face the final boss. But how far would you need to go back? Oh look, I'm dead. And it looks like we got no choice but to fight. Full life flare. This hurts hard. And the reason why I was preparing that full life spell revives one ally and fully restores HP. Basically, cures anyone from being dead. But we're using too many flares. We were able to restock our, our ether, but we weren't able to get any downs. So if our healer and myself go down, then we're going to be in a bit of a problem. The worst part about this situation in the future is that 2,000 years in the past. Now let's do some simple, call it uh, physics. 2,000 years in the past, and we can do anything. Anything could be alive. Anything we've already killed. So what would stop one of our, any of our greatest foes to come back to try to kill us? And not just that, the strongest versions of them. What would stop any four of the fiend killed from attacking? While we're here, trying to stop them from going back through time. Other than ourselves, really not much. This world has been entangled within a chain of wrath. A chain that ceases to break even as it stands dwindling. 
between well between succession and failure my constant deaths it's not going to be too much of a fun fight against anything. Hey. Here I hoped it would have bought me a few more turns. Oh well. Now, we're almost there. I'm sorry to say, everyone, but this is pretty much the end of the series. I tried my best to include some other, a couple of my friends in this, but... Honestly, after seeing what happened... With recording issues... I also had to go back, fix them. Downside, it happens so much. Doing YouTube's not an easy job. <laughs> Whoever said that it is, honestly trying to pawn something off. But. And in a way, YouTube is like growing a rose. To cultivate that rose, you must have a, either a green thumb or a will. A will to go ahead and say what you want. Do what you want. Do what you like most. For instance, I like gaming and roleplay. Do what you want, but you will how you will. It wouldn't matter to me. Nobody should judge on who anybody is or what they do. Every YouTuber knows that. Well, one. <laughs> Funny enough, I said I knew, like, these places inside and out. But, uh... Can't really remember this part too well. I'm gonna have to make a cut. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a cut here. Until I find out where the hell I'm supposed to go. Found it. It took some time. But I did it. The only hard part is... What'll come next. But as I was saying, tubes like cultivating a rose. You can't overdo it, but you can't not put effort into it. Like for me here. I haven't done this for a while, and I really needed to. But the one thing that was holding me back was both my in-real-life commitments and my game commitments. I promised a bunch of guys I'd help them in a Lord of the Rings server. And you guys know who you are if you're watching. But I had a bunch of commitments. 
But now that they're all out of the way, I have plenty of time to record, edit, and catch up. The only thing that's going to hold me back in the future? Well, let's not think about that. Let's just enjoy the video now. Because we are near the first section we need to visit. Weird. The guys on the back both had the same mouth. I don't know why that guy died first. Oh well, let's use a flare. Ladies and gentlemen, remember what I said? What's gonna stop us? What's gonna stop the fiends from attempting to reverse? Okay. We warped 2,000 years in the past. 2,000 years in the future, we slayed the four fiends. And made sure they wouldn't come back. Now here's my question. What's stopping them from doing that to us? Yeah, good time for her to use that elixir. Damn it. Damn it, Bob it. Kira should do trick. And there's a reason why I'm doing this now. Better be sparing on our magic. Because I kind of forgot to grab Ether. Oh well. You remember this one well. The Lord of Death. Ironically throws out a lot of death spells too. Death and hard hitting attacks. So we need to share the cure. Just as a precaution. And so just so we can run in to help the battle. us best in this situation. Box, feet, HP, damn it. Out of them. Just the best we can do, hit him like he's hitting us. Hard and heavy. Let's try to go full frontal with them. Because we already wasted a little bit of magic. There we go. This one... If the enemies aren't giving it away, I don't think I'd know which ones will... The enemies are basically rushing down there to try to get to the past. Rather, up here. 
They're trying to go through the same crystal that we entered. If we let them do that, approximately 1,000 years in the future, they'll arrive at their destinations and set up a name for themselves. Something we can't let them do. But well, how are we going to stop them? Elementary. <laughs> As it were. Kill them before they try. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to save mana until we need it most. Because in one of these chambers, the Mega Elixir are waiting for us. We're gonna need that Protect Cloak on Olseus because he's so weak. And we're definitely going to need some healing items. Crap, though, I sold him. Oh well. I'm sure we can find something here that'll work. Oh well. Things are going pretty smoothly, all things considered. It's going to be really hard when we have to refight Tiamat. I know I'm running away a lot, not really getting that much experience, but I need to save all my mana. I mean every last drop. Everyone's got a protection ring. And honestly, you can't not try to fight the boss in this condition. We have to gun straight for the final boss. Risky move, but we've got an ace up our sleeves. Got these. Berry Tonic to boost max MP, strength, strength Tonic for attack, Giant's Tonic for HP, Speed Drink for agility, and Protect Drink for defense. All easily stackable. And that's the only way you'll be surviving the, against the boss. Stack those drinks one on top of the other. Next thing you know, your tank's going to be fully healed up with 99 HP. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure everyone's probably thinking about that, huh? Just enough HP and MP to fight a boss or two. Not nearly enough for myself, of course. Because I'm going to need a lot more than just a few drinks to keep me up. Here we go. We're going to need Null Blaze. Full front. Protection. And Temper. Ace, hunt, Cura. Let's try Thunder. Oh, 
ironic. Doesn't do as much damage as I thought. Because for some reason, lizard type attacks work best against water. But what the hell is her weakness? And here we go. 